what's going on guys let's try this problem right here here this question is asking a hot surface at 100 degrees celsius is to be cooled by attaching 3 centimeter long 0.25 centimeter diameter aluminium pin fins to it with a center to center distance of 0.6 centimeter the temperature of the surrounding medium is 30 degrees celsius and the heat transfer coefficient of, on the surfaces is 35 hertz per meter square kelvin Determine the rate of heat transfer from the surface for a 1 times 1 meter square section of the plate. Also determine the overall effectiveness. Now let's deal with the first part. They are asking determine the rate of heat transfer from the surface for 1 meter 1 meter section. Now if you look at this one, here we have fins, also the area without fins, right? So what we had to do here heat transfer is going to be from both areas heat transfer is going to fro go from fins and also the area around it now in order to do this we are going to deal with two equations the first one we are going to do is with fin so when we have fin we have to use this one q dot fin is going to be equal to eta fin this is efficiency of the fin times q dot fin max so this is the generic equation to find uh, find the heat, tran heat transfer from the area with fins. Now, the area without fin, this area surrounding this one, to calculate the heat transfer through that, what we do is we take another equation that is q dot q dot unfinned, unfinned, and that can be calculated using this formula that is h a unfinned. Tb minus T infinity, right? Tb minus T infinity. So here also this is going to come. Here we are going to this q dot is equivalent to H A fin Tb minus T infinity. So this is similar, but the area is going to be with fin. That's the only difference. And also we have eta that is efficiency for fin. This only comes when we have fins. Now let's so here we need these informations. We have to have we have base temperature, ambient temperature, that's not a problem, but we have to calculate area with fin and area without fin, right? Now, to calculate area with fin, first of all, we have to find number of fins because then only we can calculate area of the fin, right? To calculate number of fins, we need, uh, also we have to have this efficiency of the fin because without this one, we cannot find the Q dot for fin, fin surface. Now let's go ahead and find it. To find the efficiency, we use this equation. Efficiency of the fin is equal to tan hyperbolic ml over ml. Now m is peri perimeter of the fin, I mean, yeah, fin, fin parameter. This is called fin parameter, the usually m value, right? So fin parameter, to calculate this one, we use this equation that is m is equal to square root of hp over kac, right? Now, h is heat transfer coefficient, perimeter, cross-sectional area. Now here, the perimeter is going to be, since this is a, this is a circular area, right? Circular surface. So circular surface, this is going to be circumference of circle, that's 2 phi r, also you can write phi d. So here we, we can write h phi d and cross sectional area is going to be phi d square by 4. So this is going to be k over phi d square by 4 and if you notice here we can cancel this. Phi phi cancels, this d, this d square cancels, so finally we will end up with 4h over kd. So this is going to be the equation we are going to use. Now let's plug the values. 4h that is going to be 4 times heat transfer coefficient that is provided right here. Let's see here we have 35 watts per meter square kelvin. So here we are going to place that one right here 35 and divided by thermal conductivity that is 2 that is 237 237 and the diameter we have 
0.25 centimeters so we have to convert this one into meter so 0.25 times 10 to the power minus 2 meter right and uh, if you calculate this one you will end up with 15.37 meter minus 1 now we have the same value now we can go ahead and plug it into this equation to calculate eta fin <coughs> now let's go ahead and plug it tan hyperbolic m value is 15.37 times l that is length let's see we have this distance at a 3 centimeter long so this is our length 3 centimeter right so let's go ahead and plug this one 3 centimeter is 0. Point, so this is going to be 0. 0.03 meter 0. 0.03 meter and here we are going to, in the bottom we are going to have 15.37 times 0. 0.03 and if you calculate this one you will end up with 0. 0.935 now we have this information available now <coughs> now q fin max q dot fin max so let's expand this equation a little bit more here this eta fin times q fin max it's going to be this equation again h a fin so area fin um, fin and uh, this one tb minus t infinity right so let's uh, write just fin area fin tb minus t infinity so temperature we have no problem heat transfer co coefficient no problem area of the fin area with fin we have to calculate now to calculate area with fin we have to know the number of fins we have and to calculate number of fins I mean fin this is 1 meter time 1 meter section we are taking so the area is 1 meter square and also they have mentioned center to center distance 0 0.3 0 0.6 centimeter so every center to center 0 0.6 centimeter we have a fin now to find the total number of fin what we do is we divide this area by this area like 0 0.6 times 10 to the power of minus 2 that can be written as 0 0.006 times 0 0.006 this is going to be meter square because meter times meter that's going to be meter square <coughs> and if you calculate this one you will end up with number of fins and that's going to be equal to 27,777 now we have the number of fin now <coughs> we can use this information to calculate the area area of the fin fin surface is going to be equal to 27,777 times this length of the spin that is 5dl right for a cylindrical shape it's going to be 5dl because 2 phi rh that's same as 5dl now this is 5dl and also the cross sectional area with this circle right here that that's covering this part that's going to be 5d square by 4 and uh, let's plug the values here we are going to have 27 27,777 times 5 times the diameter that is 0 0.00 because this is 0 0.25 so this is going to be 0 0.0025 times length that is 3 centimeters so this is going to be 0 0.03 and then 5 d square by 4 that's going to be 5 times you know what let's get rid of this part we don't need this one anymore so let's get rid of this part right here so let's continue here we have 5d square by 4 d is 0 0.0025 square divided by 4 right <coughs> and if you calculate this one you will get 6.68 meter square <clears throat> so we have all the information available available for this one 
Now let's plug the values. 8 of n is 0 0.935 times the heat transfer coefficient is 35. So this is going to be 35 right here. Area with fin, we calculated that one. That is 6 times, I mean 6.68 times base temperature. Now here, let's see. Surrounding medium is 30 degrees Celsius. So this is T infinity and this is surface. So base temperature is this one, 100. And surrounding temperature is going to be 30, right? So TB is going to be 100, surrounding is 30. And if you calculate this one, you should get, let's avoid writing this one here. Let's write this one here. So this is going to be equivalent to Q dot fin, you will get 15,302.2 watts. <clears throat> now this is with fins. Now without fin, what we have to do is we have to find the area without fin. Now a, to, to find the area without fin, what we do is we are taking 1 meter square, right? The total area is 1 meter square. And if you think about this, in one meter square, we have this area that's covering with fin is going to be just a circle right here. All of them are just circle. So if we subtract this circle from this square, that's going to be the area without fin, right? Now let's go ahead and plug the, in the equation a unfinned or a without fin. A unfinned is good word. Unfinned is going to be equal to 1 minus we have how many fins 27,777 so this is going to be 27,777 times 5d square by 4 because the circle area is going to be 5d square by 4 so here we are going to have 5d square by 4 and that is going to be equal to 1 minus 27,777 Y times the diameter diameter is going to be what this one 0 0.25 centimeter so that's going to be 0 point 0 point uh, 0 0 2 5 2 5 square divided by 4 and if you calculate this one you should get 0 0.86 meter square right so this is going to be the area on print now we have area on print, heat transfer coefficient, and these are available. Now we can calculate this one. Again, H is going to be the same thing, that's 35, right? Area on print, that's going to be 0 0.86 meter square, and base temperature is 100 minus 30. And if you calculate this one, you should get 2107 watts. Now we have fin, the heat transfer in the fin area and heat transfer in the unfinned area. Now to find the total heat transfer, all you have to do is just add them together. So we can say Q dot total. Total is going to be equivalent to Q dot fin plus Q dot unfinned. And here we have Q dot fin that is 15,302.2 watts plus unfinned that's going to be 2,107. And if you add them together, that will give you 1.74 times 10 to the power of 4 watts, right? So we have Q dot total. So this is our first question, right? So this, this can be written as 7.4 kilowatts. Now this is our first question that's asking determine the rate of heat transfer from the surface for 1 times 1 meter section of the plate. Now we have calculated that one. Now the second question is asking also determine overall effectiveness. Now let's see how we can find effectiveness. To find effectiveness we have to put this one. Let's get rid of this part. right effectiveness effectiveness equation is 
Not wrong. What's wrong? Here we go. Okay. Effectiveness equation is effectiveness of the fin can be calculated using this formula. That is q dot fin and q dot q dot without fin. Now q, q dot without fin and q dot on fin is totally different because here what we are going to do is we are going to take this surface as there's no fin at all right so there's nothing at all and we calculate that heat transfer and we divide that now how can we calculate it's going to be easy just q dot without fin is going to be h again we are going to use same equation h a no fin times tv minus t infinity now here no fin mean just one times one meter square right we don't subtract this circle area because there's no fin at all we, we just take this square part and that's going to be the area just one so this is going to be 35 times one meter square times tv that is 100 minus 30 and if you calculate this one you will get 2450 watts now this is without fin now all we have to do is just plug it in this equation now let's get rid of these parts so here we have to do what we have to do is this one q dot fin we calculated that one that is 17.4 kilowatts right so that can be written as 17,400 watts divided by without fin we calculated that is 2450 2450 and that's going to be equal to 7.10 so this is going to be the effectiveness of the fin i hope this helps thanks for watching